gasoline. And then we've got the reference cone set up. If you've done this before, you probably know about the cones. Again, don't stare at the cones, look through the cones. Yeah. And don't even worry about your steering. Your hands are going to simply follow your eyes. So I'm already starting to scan in to the inside. I've seen it. The car is pointed there. I'm now looking up the hill to my left. I've seen it. The car is pointed there. I'm now looking up and right. This is the only left-hand turn on the track. Okay. How many turns? Uh, let's see. Five, six, seven. About seven or eight. And how? Uh, what's the length? It's small. One point eight. One point six. Okay. So turn in late here, later than you think, because you don't want to track out. Yeah. So you're going to sacrifice your exit here to get better left. set yeah. up for yeah. this long right-hander. Not long right hander, right hander that leads onto the long straightaway. And you can see we've been out here a couple of days, we're starting to rubber in. You can see the rubber. You can see the rubber going to the grass. Yes, yeah, ignore that. Ignore that. <laughs> <laughs> and on the, on the wall there. So, down here to our hard braking zone, you'll come in here, you'll really stand on the brakes. Oh, this is where they're using the chicane. Yeah, you, exactly, using the chicane. climb back up this hill it's a little blind but if you stay to the left side of the road you'll see it kind of opens up and you have plenty of room so just kind of trust trust that yeah What's trust coming. it yep exactly climbing the hill down through here it doesn't take a lot of break maybe a five out of ten on a yeah. scale of one to ten roll some speed through here we'll track out and set up for the really fun part last turn on the front stretch down the hill here. And about here you'll just give it a little bit of break just to settle the front down, bring it to the inside, and then about here you'll be able to literally floor it. All the way to these cones. I lifted early, but you can go all the way to those cones. Probably get up to 110, 115 in that short amount of time. Keep braking, keep a steady brake. And then down to your cones. We've got two set up here just to keep you down there. Let it drift out a little bit. Bring it back down. Then again, you're gonna stay out to the right longer than you typically, typically think you would. Because again, you're late apexing because you don't want the track out. Such a big car, uh -huh. yeah. How much power it can and deliver. Then the, the, also, the lack of turbo lag there, yeah. You, you wouldn't know, I wouldn't know it's turbo unless someone told me. And you as know, far it's, as it's amazing how they can't improve all that, right? Yeah, in the, just five years, the I past know. five years, it's kind of absurd. And then we'll simply put the blinkers on, I'll do that for you. And all that means is to let everybody behind us know that and we're going into yeah. Yes, and uh, we're gonna drive always in sport mode. I no, guess. I'll do. We'll do two laps in comfort. Oh, okay. Then we'll do what we call a cool down lap. So we'll do two yeah. good laps. Then we'll do a nice slow lap. Let everything cool down. Then we'll rip it again in sport mode for two laps. Okay. And then we'll do a cool down lap and come in. So you'll actually be out there for a pretty good while. Six laps. Great. Two of them will be kind of cool down, but still. Really nice on track. your road drive, if I suggest messing with the night vision, it's amazing oh, okay. in this thing. And you can hear we're in sport mode, so you can hear the exhaust mm -hmm. giving you a little kickback. When you go to comfort or Bentley mode, it's dead quiet. And then if we approach somebody, I'll request them to let us buy. If somebody catches us, I'll request them to let us buy. So don't worry about the other people. Okay, great. Thank you. Yes, sir.